In today's Eye on Emerging Markets, we take a look at the world from the perspective of Time Warner. We met with the company CFO John Martin just last week, happened to be on the same morning that Time Warner announced a pay-per-view deal with China. Well, that new distribution agreement makes Time Warner the first U.S. studio to offer the Chinese market on-demand content via cable and Internet. It's also a milestone for a company that sees more growth ahead in overseas markets. So this morning's announcement of making our films available in China is really a breakthrough announcement. We don't have a lot of business in China, but it really touches on two of the four growth opportunities when you think about it. It's the digitization of our content, and it's moving to offer our products and services internationally to more people in more places and more ways. Where are the biggest opportunities internationally? Internationally is growing much faster than the U.S. Uh, and we see the biggest opportunities in some of the fastest growing areas and we we look at Latin America India and Central and Eastern Europe so in Latin America which has great great secular growth characteristics media is still relatively immature compared to what it is in the US but we are the number one provider of pay television now in Latin America and we've made organic investments we've made acquisitions and we've got great scale and great economics we see huge opportunity in Central and Eastern Europe we have a big investment in a company called CME and we've been looking at other countries that are in and around there and we think that Central and Eastern Europe is a place that 10 years from now is going to look a lot like the US looks today and we want to get in on the ground floor we're also spending money in India which has a better rule of law and a better regulatory environment than some other countries in Asia and we think there are big opportunities there but there's there's opportunities in lots of places and what type of content are they looking for we've seen the um, the growth of Bollywood as an example we've seen a lot of foreign films now become quite popular in the US are you working on content that's localized I think it really depends country by country but di directionally the answer is yes more and more in countries there is consumption of indigenous or local product and we are increasing our own ability to be able to deliver that we bought a company called shed media last year which is a UK based company UK based company excuse me that that principally creates reality type programming and then tries to export it around the world but what's interesting is at the same time that there's more consumption of local the type of programming that we create here in the States is still incredibly popular and the demand for that programming is actually going up, not down. You take a studio like Warner Brothers, which is the world's largest global studio, half of its revenues now come from outside of the U.S. And the demand for the types of TV shows and movies that we make is much greater today than it's ever been. I mean, it's not an accident that we opened The Hangover 2 and it opened in the states at twice the level that it did let the, the first movie and then internationally is setting all kinds of records. Well, another important area of growth for Time Warner is what John Martin's called digitization. And tomorrow we're going to hear more from him on how the Internet and the cloud fit into Time Warner's future.